Hey guys, what is up? It's Johnny and make sure you subscribe if you're new because I think it's going to be a little bit of a series going on. So to begin with, I moved in about three months ago and this is a huge conspiracy theory basically. And what happened was I moved in, the house was completely empty, it was all good, it was everything all good. Then we let the dogs come and we let them outside and they decided to go under the house, which we realized. And under our house, it's like probably about a gap like this big. Well, probably about that big. So I can kind of crawl through if I was to go under there. But I can see just between the gap um, what's going on. And basically, there's so much crap under our house. It's really creepy. But the dogs found these really odd bones, which look a bit like human bones, which was a bit like, what? That's creepy. So after the dogs found the human bones, which I started collecting, I kept them in like a bag, which was creepy. And then I was like, look, look, look what my dogs found. I swear to God, it's a fucking human under this house. And I'll tell you why I was thinking this. It gets worse. It, oh, guys. Uh, okay. So after they found some odd bones, which look like fucking humans. <laughs> um, the dogs then ended up finding what was a baby clothes, like baby jumpsuit, the like PJ jumpsuit. And that was really creepy because it was all like dirty and stuff under there. A, they, are, they must have had another dog here that like took shit underneath the house. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe they gave them big bones or something, but that's creepy. Let it sink in, let it sink in, it gets worse. So, after all this happened, I was going through the cupboards, putting out new dishes and stuff like that we brought for the house, that we unpacked for the house, and I found something in sitting right there on the fucking shelf, just sitting right there on the shelf, staring right at me, and I was just like, they did not leave anything in this house, at all, anything. But the only thing they left was this weird picture and it looked like it was it was sitting there like on display for us, the next people, to see. So, if you can see here, I'll get rid of... Actually, it doesn't even say name, so it should be good. It just tells you where. So as you can see, it's like a fucking ultrasound of a baby at the Geelong place, but... The date here, 2013. That's the year that me and Amy met and started dating. It was the same date too that we started talking to each other, which is fucking creepy ads. Um, so that's weird, really weird. And I don't know why they would leave this behind or why they want to throw this out if they didn't want it anymore, but it was really creepy and it was sitting there for us to see. So I was like, Oh, they're letting us know they murdered their baby under the house. Hey, hey, mystery, hint, hint. There's nothing on the back of it, but it's just creepy. So after we found this, yeah, it's not the end. Trust me, it's not the end of the conspiracy yet. It still gets fucking worse. <laughs> so our dogs, there's this crack on my floorboard, which I'll show you now. Floorboard, basically, it's unleveled, so you can go like that and it creaks up and it looks like it's been hacked away at with like a crowbar or something to lift up. I can kind of lift it a bit up, but what's creepy is it's like it's is my dogs go there and they scratch it and they sniff at it like as if there's something there, so they hit the body there. I'm seriously considering I have to investigate under this house because otherwise I'm just gonna have this in my mind and I don't want to move out and then find out that the next person that came in ended up finding a dead body under there and we were just oblivious to it the whole time. And we didn't see all the fucking signs and I'd just feel like a dick. But, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this house, it's fucking weird. It's really old. Um, it's an old build and it like creaks and all this stuff at night. At night, it literally feels like it's like... Um, it's haunted, like literally, like I feel like I can hear people walking around and stuff, like this shit, <laughs> and like I feel like I can hear like things, 
like the doors creak and like I can hear things moving. It's stupid, but it's like this house is fucking haunted. I shit you not. Know, it sounds like someone's coming from our roof, coming down, <laughs> and getting themselves a fucking snack. <laughs> so I'm a bit worried that there's someone living up in my roof who investigated that either. So this house could just be full of like all these people living under my house and above my house. There's alcohol under there too. There's like beer bottles in the corner. I'm like. Were they drinking under the fucking house? Who the fuck drinks under a house this big? Like, come on, it looks like they got a little set up. I so gotta show you guys in the next video. I really hope you guys wanna see it too because hope you are excited as I'm excited. That actually sounds really weird. Like, I don't hope that I find a dead body. Well. Too. Should I investigate the roof and see if someone's living up there? It would be a bit scary. And what if, like, we had, like, you know, I don't want him living up there and not paying any fucking rent. He can at least pay half if he's up there. Like, that's pretty, pretty big area, you know what I mean? Thanks guys for watching the video. That is it for this video. And if you guys want to see more and see what happens in the next video, I'll maybe investigate down there or up here. So let me know if you guys want to see me investigate under the house first because that would be really interesting. There's a lot of shit down there and it really looks like someone had a setup down there. So that's crazy. But make sure you hit that notification bell on because if you hit that notification bell on, you get a notification when my next video comes out and you won't miss it because it'll be fucking awesome.